is reading vlog time, y'all. I am very excited for this video, but also like a little nervous because I have heard some interesting things about this book. <laughs> I feel like I'm either going to love this or I'm gonna hate it. I figured I would just bring y'all along with me so that I can share my thoughts as I read this. <laughs> I won't be doing any spoilers or anything. I'll just be kind of sharing what the book is about and then talking a little bit about my thoughts along the way. But let's get into Bunny. Oh, also, sorry, I didn't even introduce myself, y'all. My name is Crystal. If you are new here, welcome. If you are not new here, welcome back. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I hope y'all enjoy it. Now, now we can get to reading. read a scene that's like kind of creepy like I can't even explain <laughs> I can't even explain it I'm only eight pages in but from what I gather um this actually has sort of like an academia type of setting there's a group of girls that are that like call each other bunny they're like a little click and then there's this one girl I think her name is Samantha yes Samantha she is someone that I guess is in the same like school as them Samantha is like sort of an outsider I'm actually gonna pause right here because I need to take off my makeup it's like bothering me it's so weird it's really this is so strange but I can't read when I have makeup on like it makes me so uncomfortable and I think it's because I like to read with a blanket and I like to like put the blanket up to my face or I like to like lay down on a pillow or something and when I have makeup on I feel like I have to like sit up all straight and just read the book you know this is just random information that no one asked for anyway I'm gonna take off my makeup and then I'm gonna keep reading Samantha has been invited to a party by the bunnies, by the bunny girls. <laughs> she has like these weird names for them. Like one of them she calls Cupcake. And the other one she calls, is it Creepy Doll? Yeah, Creepy Doll. And then the other one, <laughs> she's invited to this party and she's, she's like shocked because she's kind of an outsider and these girls are like in their own little clique. And so she's shocked that they've invited her to a, to their party. Also, sorry if you can hear um, some chewing in the back. <laughs> Elvis is right here with his toy. I'm on page 42 and she's, Samantha is now at this party. Uh, so these girls are weird. I don't know how to explain it, but other than like, they seem like weirdly brainwashed or something. I don't know, they're just very strange. They're like, so tell me, Samantha. Tell me more, Samantha. Samantha, we are so happy you're here, Samantha. It's so strange, but I'm super intrigued. So yeah, I'm gonna keep reading and um, I don't know if I'll update y'all tonight, but I'll probably update y'all tomorrow at some point. Again, too lazy to get my tripod. Hello, um, today is Wednesday, almost one o'clock in the afternoon. And um, I just finished up a lot of my work for the day. Go me. I really wanted to finish early today because I want to read. Um, I got like 60 or so pages into the book last night. I don't really know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't, <laughs> I have no clue what's going on in this book. <laughs> I am intrigued though. But if you were to ask me like, hey, what is this book about? I don't know. All I know so far at this point is there's that clique of girls, you know, they invite Samantha to the a little party that they have, but I wouldn't even call it a party because it's like just them. She goes and some things happen after. The things that happen are like very confusing. I'm like, wait, what? So I'm just gonna continue reading. I'm gonna continue reading and hopefully everything starts to make sense. <laughs> 
we shall see. I like the writing as well. And it's like a little bit, it feels like the vibe of it feels a little dark, which I like, but the content of the book is just very different. I wanna get a lot of reading in today. So that is the goal. I'll keep y'all updated. I had to move inside because oh my god it is so hot it is so hot I could feel I was in the shade and I could feel my face burning off my the, my flesh was burning I went outside because Aldis likes to go and lay in the sun like in the middle of the day and I like to be out there with him you know so I can watch him and he was just laying out in the middle of the sun but I couldn't do it I could not last so we came inside um anyway I just started part two. My goal is to finish this book today. I really want to finish it. So I'm just gonna binge this book today. It is currently like, I don't know, two o'clock or something in the afternoon. So I'm gonna sit here and read until I finish this book. I refuse to take this book past today. I'm not gonna lie, it is strange. It's bizarre. I couldn't even tell you what the hell's going on. <laughs> So I'm just going to keep reading and then at the very end of this vlog, I will do a full like detailed review with my thoughts, with my overview of the book, no spoilers, a rating and all of those things. bunny last night I don't even know well I do know but I don't <laughs> uh, I ended up giving this two stars um, this book was not for me it's so crazy because when I first started reading this book I was very intrigued I was like okay I need to keep reading because I was so curious as to what the heck was going on the writing was actually really good too um which I will give it that that's why I got two stars for me because I did really like the writing and then as I got further and further along it just kept getting more bizarre and more bizarre and honestly like a little bit confusing I, I like I, I don't know I would consider this book a dark academia. I can see why people would love this. I think it's one of those books you either really love or you really hate it. it there's no like in between. Like this book is either for you or it is not. I'm gonna do just like a quick recap of the book and tell you what I think the book is about. And then you can decide if you think it would be something that you would enjoy. <laughs> Essentially, this is about a group of girls who call themselves bunnies. They call each other bunny. And there's a girl named Samantha who is more of like an outsider. And she is someone who sees this group of girls and she just just doesn't feel like she's not a part of them. She would never fit in with these girls. One day, Samantha gets an invitation from the bunnies. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously when I'm like, the bunnies. <laughs> I just... Anyway, she <laughs> Samantha gets an invitation from the bunnies. The bunnies are inviting her to a party at one of their houses. Also, the name of these parties is called Smut Salon. The name of their party is called Smut Salon. You're invited to the Smut Salon. What? So Samantha's like, oh my God, these girls are inviting me. They're including me. Like, I can't believe it. And so she's very, almost like feels honored that they would invite her to one of their parties. And so she ends up going to this party. It's very strange. Like some weird things happen and she doesn't even know what the hell's going on. But the next day she wakes up and she's like, did that just happen? 
what just happened? They end up inviting her to another party, like later on, another one of their parties, and she ends up going. And all these parties that she's going to, are they just keep getting weirder and weirder, and all these things start happening. But Samantha starts becoming acclimated within this group. Samantha is plunging deeper and deeper into the bunnies world and she kind of loses touch with reality it's also really affecting one of her biggest friendships in her life basically this friendship that she has like her best friend and her friendship with the bunnies collides and then a bunch of like bad stuff happens this book is so bizarre it is very very weird it is very different it is very unique i felt like i was living in like this alternate reality reading this book like i was on drugs or something or like kind of like you're living in a fever dream. Now, this book also has a very ritualistic vibe. If you think of a group of people who do very bad things together and they're kind of all like brainwashed or under some kind of weird spell, almost like a cult. If you think of like how a cult operates, that is similar to what the bunnies are and how they act because in the book, like I was picturing them just being so out of it, like just under some kind of like magic spell or something. I don't know. It's just like, that's the only way I can describe it is they're just like not themselves. They're like out of touch with reality. And they're just like, hello, Samantha. Welcome to the bunnies. Welcome to our party. We've missed you, Samantha. Um, there's also a very like animalistic type of vibe to this book. There's a lot of like things that happen with animals in this book. It is very animalistic. That's the only way that I can describe it. It also has a sexual undertone. There's lots of like sexual innuendos and sexual themes. Just mixing all of that together, it gave me the ick. This book doesn't have spice in it. It just has like sexual undertones, things have sexual meanings, and they make like sexual comments. That mixed with like the animalistic, ritualistic, fever dreamish, cultish type of vibe, mixing all that together, it's just not my taste. It's not my kind of book, um, but I could see why people love it. Like I said, the writing is really good. The storyline is very unique and very different. Um, it is dark as well, which I, I do like dark books, but this was just like a different kind of dark. This is like cultish, psychedelics, like that kind of dark. Anyway, overall, this book was just not for me, uh, not my vibe, not my style. That's okay. I could see why people would love it. Um, just it wasn't for me. Anyway, y'all, that is the end of this vlog. I really hope y'all enjoyed watching. If you have read this book. I would love to know what you thought down in the comments. And if you haven't read this, do you feel like after me explaining it, it's something that you are going to want to read? I'm curious. So let me know down in the comments. But thank y'all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.